I've been collecting marbles and selling marbles for a long time. So when you take pictures of marbles, if, they ha if they're clear or they're uh, transparent, translucent, you put a little light underneath them and it shows um, how, it, uh, how it looks on the inside of the marble with a, with a good small light. You know, you can't take you can't take pictures on marbles with uh, with humongous mag lights because that would look stupid. So I have here what I think would be a good a good marble light. You know, kind of close to what I see other people doing um, in their pictures uh, for sale of marbles. So, I bought the I bought I saw I saw the reviews on Creeds and I was like, oh wow, that looks you know, like a really nice flashlight. And then when I buy it, <laughs> I open it up, and it's got this funky. Uh, diameter it's way bigger than a um, a double a, a, a so I was like oh my god so I can't use it right <laughs> I don't have I don't know what type of batteries this thing takes so I go online and uh, so this is the Creed ultra fire S5, you know, don't get upset at me. I got to put my glasses on, man. Ultra Fire S5. H-W-A-H-Y-S, whatever that means. So, so I buy this flashlight and I can't use it. Um, let me take off the back again. Right? So, it's, some flashlights that are, that are this wide in diameter have these little packs that go inside them, and they could hold, like, three triple A's. And, and this is the size of the, of, this is the size of the diameter of those, they used to sell them in the dollar tree for one dollar there's nothing there's no such thing as one dollar dollar tree anymore it should be called the 125 tree dollar 25 tree because nothing there's a dollar anymore but they used to sell little flashlights about this size without the without the back yeah they used to sell flashlights about this size and this diameter and uh, when you opened it up a little a little uh pack came out that had three sides to it that that held three triple a batteries and it was a buck man it was cool and the fa funny thing is i don't even i don't even know if you can get them for a dollar 25 there anymore i went to the dollar the 25 tree uh the other day and there was a lot of things that they used to have like 10 years ago that they don't even sell anymore because they can't even get it for a dollar to it's not they can't even buy it uh, to make a profit at dollar 25 so they used to have these flashlights very similar to this size which you all know, you all know the flash that I'm talking about. They're probably like three, four bucks now on Walmart or online. So I picked up this Ultra Fire. I'm gonna be honest with you, I picked it up years ago. And it probably took a long time before I bought. Um, so I had to do the research on it, right? And I was like, I was like, I was like, that's not a that's not a C battery. It's too small for a C battery, and it's too big for a double A battery. So I did the research, and these are the batteries. And look, it says Trust Fire on it. I think these are the these are the, so it takes lithium batteries. Now, if you're watching this video. You probably don't know about this either, or if you do, then then you do. But I didn't. I never seen these batteries before, 
So what does it say? These are the CR123A lithium truss fires. Photo. Oh look, look, look at that. I tell you, these are for these these for these. Uh, they made these specifically for. I don't know if it's specifically for the ultra fire. I mean, it says truss fire on it, but I kind of remember. Now, let me tell you. This video might be a a dud because I told you I bought this flashlight years ago. I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I could have bought this flashlight four years ago. And I bought these batteries. I think I think I bought these batteries a couple years ago. They've been sitting on my Remember those made in China that they used to put on? They put that same sticker on everything. They put it on jewelry. I haven't seen one of those made in... That specific sticker from made in China. I haven't seen that in years. So, if these batteries don't work, uh, then I guess this video is going to be uh, screwed. All right, so let's open it up. take does it take three no we'll find out right now it looks like it takes i don't know this is this is these are the batteries that said it came with i have no idea all right how's it going um, it's got the little springy thing so the spring and what's this hmm Well, to me, the spring... All right, so I'm going to do this. Oh, it takes two. Oh, well, all right. Well, a little bit of space in there. Well, we'll find out. If, if, if I screwed up. Oh, it's, it's upside down. All right. So usually the spring part is on the bottom, right? And the, and these pieces... I mean, I have, might have it backwards. I don't know. We'll find out together. It does, it does, the spring does, like, there's a lot of tension there. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, it didn't work. Oh my god, it didn't work. Oh my god. I really hope it's because it's in backwards, man. And it's funny because I really thought... I remember I said that usually this part goes on the bottom. Oh! <laughs> I, I, it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh, my God. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm just going to leave it on. Oh, my God. I get happy over the most dumbest things. You know we gotta test it out, man. Come on. Oh my God, what a success, man! Oh my goodness. All right, so there's no. This is the. There's no uh, adjustment. It's one. It's one thing. <clears throat> so right away, I have to say that that light looks like white, like very white. Um, so I kind of like that. Um, and, and and like I said, if you're if you're laughing because you're like, oh my God, he got so happy about batteries working. You know, I don't have many successes in life, you know? I mean, I don't want to say it like I'm some big kind of loser or anything, but, you know, this, it means something to me, you know, that that, that this worked. It's a small, it's a little success. And, you know, I think there was a part of me that really thought that these were the wrong batteries. And these... These flashlights, they're not too cheap, and I don't know. I think I was afraid that if I put the batteries in, it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna work, and I wasted all my money, you know. So, well, that's that, you know. So, oh wow, man. 
What a great. Now, and it has a little thing, so you press the button. The clicker, man, this is a premium. This is a pre. Oh! My God. Look at that. Remember, I was saying there's no way to adjust anything? Oh, this is dope, man. So, okay, so that's one. <laughs> what is that? Oh, so this is like an emer. Oh, my God. Okay. I have never seen a flashlight with that spit th that that could do this. I'm I mean I mean there's emergency flashlights that you buy to blink, you know, for, that you keep in your car and you know, the batteries die and then when you need it it doesn't work. Um but to me this was just like a regular flashlight in uh Okay. Okay. So that's so let so let's let's go let's um let's rotate through these settings again. So that's one. Hmm. Okay. It's funny that I had to do it three times. They didn't look brighter or anything to me. I know that's like some kind of uh, CJ sort of thing. So I'm very surprised. Let me see. All right, let's look at something. Let's see if it gets brighter. Oh, that might be brighter. I don't know. It looks the same to me. Yeah, that's wild. All right, so maybe you get three clicks with regular light. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so remember, what I said is that um, is to look at the marbles, right? So... So let's see let's see if it works okay so these are these are three more uh, three these are seven marbles that I have that have uh, they're transparent in some places translucent in others and let's see what happens with the uh, the flashlight I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because this is it's pretty damn cool, man. Let me see what happens if I go to three. Oh, okay, I can handle three. So let me put it here. Look at these freaking marbles, man. Like I said, I get I get happy about dumb things. Um, in case I don't know, just in case you're wondering. Um, what type of marbles these are. These are called Jabo Classics. Um, they made them in the early 90s. And they come in like a thousand variations. These are all pretty similar to each other. Uh, and they're these specific Jabos, J-A-B-O Jabos are um, these are pretty rare, so if you if you look up Jabo Classics, um, first of all, you might find my listings, um, in which case you'll notice that these marbles are little uh, are some of the nicest out of all the Jabos, Jabo excuse me out of all the Jabo Classics, um, five eight size. So there are some Jabos that are just um, that they, like I said they made them for years. So. These were these were, these were the, the earliest the earlier ones that they made, and they're very beautiful. So I wanted to get a flashlight. To let me see if I can. Which one here is nice? The nicest one. That one's really nice. So one of these three, one of these four, I would say. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. So this is what they do for the pictures. <laughs> How cool is that? My hand shaking. You know, when you're poor, you know, I mean, poverty's, I'm not gonna say, it's not an excuse for anything, but it does make things a little diff more difficult and 
um, time consuming, right? Um, so, you know, this, I mean, again, so you might, well, why I haven't did this flashlight, you know, that was, an, that was a bad excuse because I should have done it a long time ago, but I didn't, and that's my own personal issue. But, you know, if you don't have the money for a nice flashlight, then, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to work until you, until you get it. So, but this is the reason I, I, I'm doing the video was because I wanted to open up this flashlight and I said to myself, let me do a video on it because, well, I've never put the batteries in this Creed before and, uh, what is it, the Creed Ultra Fire, and if anybody wants to know how it, you know, if it's a good flashlight or not, I could do a little, you know, uh, a multi-purpose review here. I could do a funny thing to see if it actually, if the batteries still work after, I think they've been on my desk for three years. I think I bought the uh, the Ultra Fire four years ago and it took me another year to buy the batteries. And the battery's been sitting on my desk for three years. So um, you also know, so, and I could do a little review on the batteries and the uh, functionality of the I'll grab another marble functionality of the flashlight and uh, test it right uh, on the specific reason that I um, I uh, I'm, I want to get it up and going uh, look at that see how deep the swirls are on this on this marble so this is a very small marble this is it's just a little bit over half an inch and when they when they um, what happened was this group of I think it was a group of people who want to make marbles they bought the uh, acro uh, I think it's the acro agate or the vitro agate um, company with their their marble making machines and so you know i guess they were so super enthusiastic when they that they want to put out these super crazy marbles and i mean you don't have to be a, a marble connoisseur an expert to know that that these marbles are out of sight you know and that these aren't normal so they must have put, I mean, how, remember, these are made from little thin rods. And to have this type of complication and um, intricacy and different, uh, different types of glass in such a small, tiny rod, this is why you don't, you don't see marbles like this uh, often, uh, unless they're like handmade or custom-made uh, contemporary marbles. But like older marbles... You know, they don't look like this. They have big patches. I mean, some of them are nice, like, but they're like opaques. Um, so, not to geek out too much on the marble, but they're, they're so beautiful that I really wanted to be have a nice flashlight to show the interior of, of these marbles. Let's see, I grab a different one. Ah, uh, there you go. I mean, it looks like... Uh, Saturn or something, right? Looks like or Jupiter. Looks like Jupiter. Looks like a planet. Fully, fully transparent. Uh, it's incredible for such a small marble. So, I really wanted to have a nice flashlight to be able to do this with it, because uh, I think what they do is, let me see if I if it'll, if it'll show, is that they just leave it on the lip, right? So you can hold the the flashlight with one hand, and then the camera with the other, right? Because it's very hard to do, right? If you have to hold the marble and the light source, well, how do you how do you click the? Uh, I mean, of course, there's there's a way, but I don't know what it is, and I'm not. I really just wanted to be able to do it like everybody else, which was to put the marble on the flashlight and take the picture. And this this flash these flat these little flashlights have this little lip. It's perfect for marble picture taking. Okay, so. I got all these little lights here to all right. one click off 
So I think this was a probably a more thorough than needed to be review on the Creed Ultra Fire and the little batteries that it takes. Uh, it's so it's so bright. It's not even oh, okay. Does it work? No, it's so bright. I can't even. It it actually makes it impossible to read. I don't know about impossible, but all right. So let's. So the bat. So this is just so you if you want to see the. Uh, I'm trying to. This is the battery it takes. The CR one two three A lithium. 3V lithium battery, do not recharge. Now remember, lithium, it's a lithium battery. They're, they're super, super, they're super dangerous if uh, if they get wet. So you have to be, I mean, when I say super dangerous, I remember when I used to use e-cigarettes. And um, when I uh, used to vape. And I was... Uh, I was working on an, uh, it used to be an EMT, I let, I let it expire, and my, my certificate, I let it expire, and, uh, but I used to work as an EMT, and I was at, I was on a, I was on a site, and it was raining outside, and I dropped my, uh, my e-cigarette, my vaping pen, I dropped it on the floor, yo, in, in, uh, in the mud. And, uh, and before I could pick it up, it caught on fire, and it looked, it was a little, it was a, the, easy, the, the vaping pens that were like, like this size. Um, about the size of the, um, you know, the little vaping pens, about the size of, a little thinner and a little bit longer. I don't see anybody using it anymore. That's how I'm going back like 10 years. And it fell into the mud the wet soggy ground and um because it was uh it was a a track for um for those little uh, race cars and and I, before I could pick it up it caught fire and it looked this is how and I'm going to say that it was probably similar to one of these cuz I know there's a little battery inside of it and it was thinner than one of these and a little bit longer so let's say about similar to one of these batteries and it was like a flare. You know the flares, the emergency flares that you that you strike uh, for when you, uh, if you have to pull over, if you have a, you know something's going on with your car, you get disabled and you have to put a, a flare out to let traffic know that you're, you're on the side of the highway. That's how bright the fire that was coming out. And it's funny because it was an e-cigarette, right? And the batteries at the end, so it really looked like one of those flares because it was the fire was shooting out the back. And so be very careful with with these. Um, keep them in a dry place. I mean, I, I would even I don't know. Maybe that's one of the reasons I didn't open it either because I, you know, um, that 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 experience really uh, scared me because I I had no idea that that that's how dangerous they were. Uh, lithium batteries but but that, that's how dangerous they are okay so thanks if you stood uh to the end <laughs> and you listened to to all the different aspects of this video um i hope hopefully i i stood on track if you can uh you know give me a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe i appreciate it and uh, i'll see you on the next one